Let's move on to the next song from Zach Bryan off of this new album, The Great American Bar Scene. And we're going to the John Mayer feature. So this song is called Better Days featuring John Mayer. Man, this has got to be good, dude. <laughs> That sounds like a John Mayer guitar. Oh. Don't get in. Listen to the sounds. Then good times will find a way back around. And I've got the answers. Go on and touch my skin. Then better days always come back again. What is up with this guitar, bro? Johnny boy. Stop doing this to me. I'm gonna cry. It's life's a boat, boy. It all comes in waves. On the radio, her laughter and sweet mistakes. And I was in love well as a young child. So I pray these better unstable days they stay alive. So don't get hateful on hot down. There's a fire burning in the back for you, still fighting now who the hell I am. And I'm so tired of wasting it away. Gotta find the time to realize. That guitar is fucking amazing, man. Are we gonna hear him sing, or is it just the guitar? You can kind of hear him in the background, supporting the vocals of Zach. With a blue guitar, a city bar, a street by a kid. But I've never known quite what I deserve. You try so hard and wind up getting burned. I want to hear John Mayer sing, but this is still pretty cool. probably could just say a lot of what I just said for the previous song, 28. This dude, Zach Bryan, he's always got a really good message to preach, I feel like, in the three songs that I've heard so far. That might be my favorite, because I'm definitely biased with having John Mayer on the song playing guitar. You could hear it in those riffs. Wanted him to sing. Unfortunately, he didn't. I mean, he backed up the vocals of Zach, but he didn't, like, do his own verse, you know, his own melody, his own harmonies. But essentially, subject matter-wise, Zach is talking about this... The way I interpret it is this yin and this yang to life that we all go through. You're going to have good days. 
you're going to have bad days. You're going to have great moments. You're going to have down moments. There are going to be times where you doubt yourself. There are going to be times where you're sure of yourself. There are going to be times where you don't struggle with confidence. There are going to be times where you can't find any confidence whatsoever. And especially, I feel like he's calling to going through the 20s because now he's on the tail end of the 20s, just like I am. I'm right behind him by one year at 27, him being 28. This is a time where you really, kind, in my opinion, it feels like we are really kind of form forming our identities, formulating our identities. I mean, definitely there are formative years, you know, when you're back in high school, early days of college, but I feel like once you break out of that as adolescent state of mind, it's in the middle 20s and the late 20s where you really kind of, you start to have this like, concrete base of who you are and you are still changing a whole lot but there are also probably things from your younger self that haven't changed like i could look at myself internally retrospectively right now and i could literally tell all of you guys like there are parts of me that have that are pretty like set in stone that are really unchanged like i'm a very stubborn person and i've always kind of been that way you know i would say I have an OCD type of personality that's kind of always been with me, but became more prevalent, um, became more recognizable as I got older, as I got into my early 20s. You know, I'm a deep thinker. I, I kind of look at life from that deep philosophy that's kind of always been there for me. I've always been a caring uh, empathetic, kind type of person. So there's these certain traits and qualities inside of me that have never really changed. They've always kind of been there. But then there are other things. You know, I could even say within the last year that I've really noticed, um, I would say the most confident version of myself started to really develop when I was 24, but it's only gotten stronger and stronger in these last three years. I realize now there are certain things now that I'm passionate about that I wasn't necessarily passionate about when I was younger. I feel like I have found my voice in a lot of ways by doing these music reactions and being authentic with it and giving my real honest take. I realized like last week I did the debate, uh, the reaction on the presidential debate. I am definitely passionate about politics and the current spectrum of the world that we're going through, culture, society, all across the globe. You know, these, these conflicts that we face. I, I feel an importance to embrace these challenges and say like, what can we learn? from these things. I also have a deep burning passion to help people, to provide value to people's lives. That's why I'm doing personal training because I love seeing people get better. I love helping people get better. Before I did personal training, I was working with people that had intellectual disabilities and physical disabilities. And I loved working with those people. I loved helping those people. You could even say here on the YouTube channel, you know, I think I have, I think I enjoy it so much doing the music reactions, whatever type of content that I'm putting out, because I love to hear from you guys. I love it when a video does well and I have people comment on it and say, dude, like I loved your take. This is awesome. This helped me look at things a little bit differently. Like no matter what I'm doing, I love helping people. But a lot of those things on the back end that I'm talking about, confidence, self-esteem, fortitude, grit, discipline, like all of that shit, this passion that we're talking about, it came at a later date. So to try and wrap up this whole idea into uh, this, this reaction and why I'm thinking of this is because this man is um, talking about growth, uh, personal reflection, but also just the balance of life, the duality of life the finite nature of life and how all of these things change and saying, you know, even if you're going through a little bit of a rough patch right now, better days are ahead. And I know that sounds like such a fucking cliche because you've heard so many people say it, 
but it is so true and it is such an important message to preach to people especially those younger generations that are coming up bro all of us struggle sometimes all of us have certain struggles that we go through and i feel like zach is just highlighting that in a song i feel like i could try and dissect this whole song and go on a rant for an entire day and it probably still would not do it any justice i just think this man the three songs that i've heard i remember everything 28 just a few seconds ago better days he's got a great philosophy to life and a great message to preach to people and outside of that just talking about the nuances of the song and how it sounds it's like every time i listen to this dude for some reason good or bad it's like he makes i get like kind of emotional just from what i'm hearing man like it's so important to reflect and look back at things and think like okay like notice the cycles of life notice how every once in a while you know i go through a little bit of a rough, rough patch but then eventually i break out of it there's just this cycle this rhythm and this flow to life that is never going to be ending from from you know the moment that you're born to the moment that you die and if you can understand that natural rhythm and flow that's out there in the universe, I think it can help all of us just cope a little bit better with the stresses that we face and the hard things that we go through and the continuous struggles that we have. Everybody has different struggles. I've talked about it before. My biggest struggle has always just been the mental headspace, some of that anxiety, overthinking, OCD, and sometimes it ramps up where it's not in my favor, but on the other side of that OCD, the way I look at it now is it is a superpower that adds a lot of value to my life if I'm using it in the proper direction, if I'm channeling, channeling that energy in a proper way. So just to wrap all of this up, because I know it's getting long, I, I really don't care. I, I, I go on these rants and there's a reason for these rants. There's something that's being, communicated through me that I'm going to communicate to you guys. I'm not a big country fan. I don't know if I'll go back to these songs a ton, but damn, in three songs that I've listened listened to from this man, he has provided immense value for me. These are just like powerful reminders that I think we could go back to. And I would also praise and appreciate his fans, you know, that are diehards. I, I understand. I now fully truly understand why people like this dude i think outside you know irrespective of you know my opinions and my views on country i i think he is a great artist and i think he's going to have just a fine dandy career ahead of him and he's already had that in his short time in the limelight so uh thank you zach Bryan. This was a fun experience. Listen to two songs today. I'll have to break them up into separate videos, otherwise they would be way too long. But, you know, just before we go out of here, um, closing statements, closing regards, you know, I'm not gonna go into it in depth too much. You guys already know the drill if you've already been over here. Four things that I ask that you do. Don't gotta do all four, but please do one of the four. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, and then also share the message. And then as a first form legionnaire, if you guys are interested in trying any of their products, uh, go to my uh, tagline on their website that has my name attached on the end. If you go to that link, if you click on it, um, you can get their products under my name and that obviously helps me out because I get commission from them, but it's a company that I truly believe in and I, I enjoy taking their products and they've helped me out a lot in the short time that I have. So give it a try if you guys are curious about that. But really guys, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have had a great 4th of July weekend. Right now it is July 6th. Saturday. So after today, I got one more day off and then we got to get back to work. But uh, yeah, guys, I will see you on the next video, the next podcast. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you guys. See you later.